using this because this eye cream is so good. Fiona's like singing in the background. <laughs> she's listening to Moana right now and she's like, when that movie comes on, she goes cray. She's singing to the whole neighborhood. Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Um, I should have worn a lighter shirt because it's kind of dark back here, but it's okay. Um, I am sitting down and doing a favorites video, February favorites. I feel like it's been forever, probably almost a year since I've done a favorites video. That's insane. So I wanted to sit down and share with you guys some of the things I've been loving lately. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, then you know I am living more of an intentional lifestyle, I guess. I'm trying to be more intentional with my purchases and the things that I'm keeping in my home. So these are all things that I have been loving and using on the daily. I've replaced things that I used to own with this stuff and gotten rid of other stuff just because I feel like these are the things that I really, really like. So I'm excited to share with you guys the stuff that I have been loving and the stuff I've really been using a lot of in the month of February. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is this Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Thickening Shampoo and thickening conditioner. I don't know about you guys, but I am a scent person. If I'm gonna be using it all the time, if I'm gonna be putting it on my body, I want to love the scent. It smells kind of like fruity and sweet, kind of like grape. And so this stuff is so, so good, you guys. This I got from Ulta, I think, and because it's considered a drugstore brand, you can use the $3 off of 15 or whatever kind of coupon they have and it is sulfate paraben and dye free This is supposed to thicken your hair. I don't know if it thickens my hair at all, but I love the smell of it I love the fact the ingredients are good. It just it works really really good So this is a really good alternative if you're looking for something from the drugstore that you can get on sale um, But that's still gonna be really good for your hair The next thing that I have been loving is this dr. Teal's pure Epsom salt foaming bath This has eucalyptus and spearmint in it Oh, this is so nice. Actually, I heard Michelle Pearson talking about this in one of her um, favorites videos. I don't know if it was just for pregnancy, but this is so relaxing, you guys. It's like a bubble bath, but it is good for your muscles, and a lot of you guys know I recently had a miscarriage last month, so I've just been really wanting to relax and kind of just take care of myself, and this has been such a lifesaver just to lay down and take a nice bath. All right, we're really getting into bath stuff, but you guys can see this I have just like... I have never gone through something like that. God, the smell of this is so good. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Shea Sugar Shea Sugar Scrub in the scent Moroccan Rose. Everybody that smelled this, like I've had friends over, I'm like, smell this, it smells so good. My husband, it doesn't smell like rose. It has like a sweet scent, kind of florally, you guys. Seriously, <laughs> if you're looking for a good body scrub that's not going to dry your skin out, but that's not going to leave like an oily film over your skin either, like some do, this is so good. This is Shea Sugar, so it's moisturizing, but it's super gritty, so it really just ugh, feels so good on your legs and so, so good. I got this from Ulta as well. It was not that expensive. I don't see a price on it, but maybe it was like six or seven bucks for this big thing. And it's so, so, so good. It has certified organic shea butter and Moroccan argan oil. All right, I've talked about this product before. This is the Vital Herbals Organic Deodorant. And I have tried so many organic deodorants and I would say most of them don't work or they work for a little bit and then I feel like I have to switch it up and try something else. This is so good you guys. This has, let me see if I can read the ingredients. Shea butter, coconut oil, it's infused with calendula, beeswax, arrowroot, aluminum free baking soda, clay, probiotics, therapeutic grade essential oils. It has bentonite clay in it and probiotics and I got mine made with clary sage essential oil just cause it's really good for, for women but it's like so light. It's like really good shape, and this stuff lasts a long time. So if you're looking for a good deodorant that doesn't have aluminum or any of that bad stuff in there, I would definitely check out Vital Herbals. I've ordered from her multiple times. So I will have a link to all of the places that I'm mentioning if there is a link down below for you guys. All right, so you guys, Rodan and Fields. Thumbs up if you guys have been hearing about this company like everywhere, especially on Instagram, I feel like. I have especially heard about the eye cream. This is a mini size of it because I didn't want to commit. This is the mini size. This is the Redefine eye cream from Rodan and Fields. And I actually invested in the entire Redefine line after using this because this eye cream is so good. Fiona's like singing in the background. 
<laughs> she's listening to Moana right now and she's like when that movie comes on she goes cry she's singing to the whole neighborhood if you are looking for a bomb eye cream that when you put on like you can see a difference as soon as you apply it to your face this stuff you guys it has lightened up my skin underneath my eyes and it's also just like it has peptides and stuff in it and it just really like brightens underneath my eyes I can honestly say I actually took all of the skincare products that I was using and I put them away so I could just use the Rodan and field stuff just to yeah, I wanted to really give it a good go and not use anything else on my skin I don't miss any of my other eye creams. So I will leave a link down below because I have a girlfriend of mine that sells this that I go through. Um, and she is a mama of three little ones. Her name's Carrie and she's selling this and she's working off paying her hubby's student loans and she's a dance teacher and she just, she does all the things and she's an awesome, awesome person. So if I ever know someone that is selling this, I'm gonna hook you up down below so that you can support them. So I will leave Carrie's link down below where you can order this direct through her um, and she'll get commission off that too because we just are about spreading the love and supporting the mamas over here if you guys have not tried this you need it shake 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 lip scents I know everybody's been talking about this stuff and I, I didn't want to like venture out to use it but I had a girlfriend of mine contact me and she was like hey girl I saw this she's like do you want to try this because she knew that I would love it and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I have tried liquid lipsticks that are long wearing, but they dry my lips out. I feel like they always, they kind of crack and I just, it's, it's just a mess. And then I'm constantly looking in the mirror to see if it's looking like it's like cr crumbling all over my lips. Lip Sense is not like that. It is a long lasting liquid lip color and it has this gloss that goes over it that like kind of just moisturizes your lips. If you can see, I have it on my lips right now and my lips are moisturized. But you look at this. Do you see anything on my hand? No. Nothing. My lips are still moisturized. <laughs> this stuff is amazing, you guys, seriously. And then it also comes with this like oops remover and what you use this for, it's kind of like an oily feeling, kind of like a gloss that you put on your lips at the end of the day and it just rubs it right off of your lips like magic. This is good ingredients and it actually helps to improve your lips because it doesn't have a lot of other fillers and additives that other lipsticks have that are actually harmful to your lips. So these are amazing. This is Praline Rose that I'm wearing right now. And then I also have the color First Love as well, which is a nude color. So my friend Allison sells this. I'm gonna link her Facebook group down below where you can join that. I know that she takes orders from Canada and the US. So if you are in Canada or if you're in the US, you can order through her and they are amazing. So thanks for sending me this kit. Allison, I'm obsessed. I will be ordering more from you because they are so good. Speaking of lip gloss, I have been loving this Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. This is a cult classic, you guys. Everybody loves this one. Hi, Az, what are you doing, buddy? Can you have one of these? An orange? Yes, you can have an orange. This is such a good lip gloss. It has it smells like cake, but it has like a minty feeling to it on your lips. I'm not gonna put it on because I have the lip scents on. But if you're looking for a good, neutral, glossy lip, so, so good. The last favorite that I have for you guys is this e.l.f. highlighter. This is a baked highlighter. This is in the color Moon Moonstone, Moonlight Pearls. This was like three bucks or something. And it's so pretty, you guys. This is such a good highlighter. Um, as I've been decluttering, I've gotten rid of all my other highlighters and I've just kept this sweet little elf one because it's so subtle, but it's really pretty and it's inexpensive. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. It's been fun to sit down and do another one of these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and share with me some of your favorites that you have been loving. I just wanna thank you again for all the support that you guys have given me over the past few weeks um, in regards to my chemical pregnancy that I had. And um, I'm just so blessed to have this community and I don't know what I would do without all of you guys. So I'm sharing my life with you. So I love you guys. I hope you're doing well and I will see you guys later. Bye.